Hello, good morning. I am Rosario Gonzalez Manalo. I am a retired career ambassador of the Diplomatic Service of the Republic of the Philippines. I am the Dean of the School of Diplomacy of Philippine Women's University. As the Philippine representative to ASEAN, I started moving the relationship of the Philippines in ASEAN and to bring the whole group to have relations with the then European Economic Community. There are points of common interest, but the implementation of one and the other are different. For example, I worked very hard for the creation of this ASEAN Intergovernmental Commission on Human Rights. When we drafted and I was chair of the ASEAN Charter, which is now implemented, I insisted on Article 14 telling the member states, if you don't include here human rights, we might as well not, not exist as ASEAN. And we have moved quite advanced, you know, on de dealing with human rights of women. In ASEAN, in principle, in theory, they agree about human rights. But in implementation, we are different one from the other. In Europe, everybody is concerned about human rights. And if there is any violation, there is an action taken together against a state that violates human rights. We had this last, this week, discussions particularly to promote and defend the human rights of indigenous women and the indigenous girl child in the whole of the Pacific and in Asia. And it was a wonderful discussion of two days for the Pacific in which I moderated and two days in Asia in which I also moderated together with the cooperation of the NGOs. That's what I like because this comes from the NGOs who implement human rights commitments. The governments have a way of evading implementation, but the NGOs fight so very hard and I am with them. First, I would like to see that when we go to meetings, we bring young people with us who are supposed to be the future diplomats of the country. They should listen how we produce, they, how, how we proceed, they should listen on how we negotiate. They should learn from the elder generation. And they will. There may be better suggestions from the younger generation. I hope so, because we are leaving in their hands the future of this world.